you'd like to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Neil Brand. Um, I'm a composer, writer and broadcaster. And I have spent most of my professional life as a freelance musician. I've always loved music that had a narrative to it and where you can hear in the music elements of a character or elements of how a story is, is working. And I would find it very hard to produce music just as music. I was never going to be a concert composer who could write symphonies or sonatas because I wouldn't have anywhere for the music to come from. With film particularly, you have a whole world which requires music and what you bring to that is very, very creative. I've come delightedly to work with the British Council and Envision Sound, working with new young composers to talk about my experience of writing for film, both in terms of the modern industry and silent film and what silent film can offer. First and foremost, don't be frightened of the person in charge of the film. Get to know them, find out who they are, find out what they like, and try and immediately make common ground with that person, because that way you will avoid so many of the pitfalls of composers sitting in a fog, not knowing really what's wanted and not knowing what to bring to the table for a film. Second up, I think, is to see as much film and listen to as much music as possible and to make that perfect playlist in your head. The styles that you like, the music you go to for specific situations, and the films that you think have done a great job of using music. Third up, I think it's also important to get to understand as many different musical instruments as possible. It really helps to discover, particularly an instrument you may not have come across before, there may be a sound that is perfect for the world that you want to write to, which you don't hear until you hear a particular disc of, and it could be anything, it could be a very ancient instrument, like a harp instrument or something like that, it could be a new electronic sound, or it could be the way someone else has used electronics. But the more you kind of engage with that huge breadth of, of music, the better. And last up, I think there has always to be an element whereby you protect yourself and you protect your own music. You, as a film composer, have an individual voice and that voice is unique because it's yours, because you're unique. Ultimately, you're all you've got as a composer. You have to bring yourself to the table and the music you produce should be very, very truthful and should absolutely represent who you are. Currently, the composer who I'm really, really impressed with is John Powell. John Powell did the music for How to Train Your Dragon 3. But he also did the music for the Bourne movies. But he also did the music for Shrek. He has an incredible ability to sub sublimate himself into the text of the film. So you can't say, oh, that's a John Powell score. But you can say, wow, that score is so perfect for the world it's representing. I think that chameleon ability, that may be the most important thing any composer can, can pull off if they can.